we're gonna get out. You can see that there. Then if we cannot then continue again or the put back again. So that's the reason I was saying that uh, get everything ready, gripper everything ready. Once it's down on it, you can see because it stopped moving inside the, the container, it's a 5%. It's a 5% uh, quite quite a heavy dose. Semi, semi open right or closed circuit. And the flow rate is now given at 3. So you can see, uh, this is the reason we, we need gas because if we don't use gas, the hamster might be cut accidentally when it moves. So like grooming in dogs, sometimes the dog get cut. And then of course the owner is not happy. And when the owner is not happy, then uh, it's no good for the vet practice rep reputation. But as you can see now, the, 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 the assistant must be very observant. Once the hamster is down on it, okay, down in, in, in enough already. Then no need to be, until the fellow is flat out there. Yeah. Quickly take out, do, clip as much as possible. Now this one, of course if you just prescribe the wash and everything then it's no use for the owner because the hair, the hair gets in the way. They can see, from what I see the hamster has been licking and then biting his uh, elbow because they, they, they don't scratch. Yeah. And after biting the elbow, of course the elbow gets red and infected. And you get more itchy, and more itchy it bites more. And then it continues with his back legs, you can see there. And bacteria will come in, and maybe some fungus as well. Now, Ship everything? No, only those surrounding area. Surrounding area, uh, so the owner can wash herself because obviously it's cheaper for the owner to do it herself. Okay, finished. Then we just take the ultraviolet light to, to quickly, quickly, uh, Check and see quick. Let's switch on the. No, put here. Ah, okay, I'll put there first. So we quickly just have a quick check for fungus. Now you can see how how useful the, the how useful the gas is. It's easy to do, and the hamster is not so stressed out. I mean, if you just grab the hamster and and start doing it, of course. He will be very stressed out and uh, luckily this one doesn't bite, this is a very friendly one but uh, there are some hamsters who bite it. Yeah. So now we get the ultraviolet light to check whether there is fluorescent or not. Switch off the lights quick, check whether there is fluorescent or not. Okay, now the ultraviolet light will be here. I'll just hold it. Uh, is there any fluorescent? No. On the elbow? On the skin, on the overall, overall no, no fluorescent. No? A bit, yeah, there's a bit, but then there could be other reasons. They can see fluorescence there. Yeah. There could be some fungus. Okay, finished. So we get antifungal wash, and uh, and the owner will wash for about 14 days. Uh, so rather than a crop accident wash, uh, an antifungal wash, there's some fluorescent. Fungus is very common in uh, Singapore because hot and humid. Yeah. And uh, basically, it just gives the antifungal wash, anti inflammatory or painkillers, and antibiotics. And the review in two weeks' time. And uh, in most of the cases, once you resolve the infection of the elbows and relieve the pain, then uh, after clipping the hairball, has in dogs. Same procedure as in dogs. There's ventilation now, and the owner can clean properly. There should be good results. We will check again in two weeks' time. To apply vets July 31st, 2016. Eczema or, or fold, fold eczema in the dog hamster elbow and the hot area. It's a very gentle hamster so it's easy to hold him. You can see the hot area is biting as well. Okay, can finish.